Our esteemed Rabbi Yaakov Giver will now add his greeting and enlighten us with some words, a few words of Torah. everyone. Thank you to our wonderful Master of Ceremonies, to our Sisterhood President, Leslie Ross. Round of applause, please. What an incredible evening. What an incredible night. It brings me so much joy to be able to see all of you here tonight as we celebrate the incredible achievements of our uniquely warm and our very fast-growing Boca Jewish Center community. Tonight, to be able to have the opportunity to recognize the commitments and the dedication of our millionaires, and to be able to have... And to be able to have the opportunity to honor our beloved guests of honor, our very dear friends, Bill and Radine Spear, here tonight at our third annual gala dinner. Let me begin my remarks this evening. Tonight, as my opa of blessed memory, a Holocaust survivor, someone whom Radine and Bill knew very, very well. Every time he ascended the podium or a place where he would offer Divrei Torah, he would always say with his European accent in his profound way, let me give Shevach Vahoda Lekeo Boreola. Let me give praise and thanks to the Almighty. Let me give praise and thanks to Almighty God for bringing us and for bringing our community to where we are today. I want each and every one of you to know that Jennifer and I feel so very honored and feel so very privileged to be able to serve as your rabbi and to be able to serve as your rebbitzin and to live among you, our very dear and beloved community, the extension of our family. I'm very honored to be in the presence of my colleagues, the rabbis of the other area shuls, whom I am so thankful for sharing not only a very strong professional relationship with, but also very close personal ones as well. I would like to recognize the Rosh Yeshiva, the heads of schools representing TTB, Torah Academy, Cat's Hill Day School, and Yeshiva High School. I would like to welcome the representatives of those that the Boca Jewish Center is proud to share a community partnership with, Rabbi Josh Brody from the Federation of South Palm Beach County. I'm so thankful that we and Glenn are here from the Jewish National Fund, and I'm thankful that the representatives of APAC are here as well. We're thrilled that all of you came to join and to share in the celebration of our community. There are several individuals whom I would like to publicly thank for their service to our community, those who really make the shul happen. You'll indulge me for just a moment as I express, as we express our gratitude, our thanks. First and foremost, as you are all aware, the unenviable at times, the job of the president of a congregation. It is with tremendous love, unbelievable passion, and I thank publicly our esteemed president, Dr. Yaakov Elephant. You don't know the hours behind the scenes, the love, the determination, the commitment, and the friendship. Doc, I love you and I thank you. Behind every great president is a first lady, Barry, I thank you, allowing him the time to be with us. We appreciate it so very much. I would like to acknowledge every single one of the members of our board of directors, each of whom play a very integral role to our community, 
and are so important to each and every one of us. And we're thankful that they're all here tonight. To the two women who joined our team this summer, they pack a very powerful punch. First and foremost, gratitude to Mrs. Vita Abramchik, our executive administrator. Vita, in a very short period of time, has not only been able to utilize her very warm, efficacious personality to do what she does best to connect the people, but so efficiently, so quickly has learned how to make things happen. Tonight, so much of what you see in the details is a credit to Vita, to your hard work. To our incredible youth director, we have the best youth director in America and beyond, Rachel Udowitz. A round of applause. Every Shabbos, every Yomtev, amazing programs, her warmth, her creativity. Rachel, having you as our youth director is very, very special. As I mentioned, Leslie Ross, our sisterhood president, round of applause, thank you so much. Day in and day out, it's the thankless job of the Gabayan. I'd like to thank Donnie Lindenberg, who is our main Gabay. I'd like to thank Isaac David, and I'd like to thank Bruce Cohen. And I would like to thank our incredibly ta talented dinner chairwoman, who so carefully made sure that everything tonight so very beautifully and wonderfully done together with their dinner committee, their, di their journal committee. Thank you so much to everyone who made sure to it that tonight is the success that in fact we're going to experience together. This past Tuesday night, under the auspices of the Jewish Federation and the leadership of Rabbi Josh Brody, Brody we celebrated together with the broader Jewish community a night of inspiration. We're close to seven hundred people in the audience got to see firsthand how lucky we all are to have Maisha Schail as our Rebbitzin. <laughs> and yes, she helps me with every single one of my speeches. And everything good that happens, Jen, I thank you for all of the support that you give me. And the tremendous love and the tremendous and genuine friendship that you show and extend to the Shul family and to the community. And lastly, Acharon, Acharon Chaviv, I would like to thank each and every one of you here this evening. You're being here tonight, and you're showing support of our community, expressing friendship. But most of all, each and every one of you are here because you understand how integral our shul is to each and every one of you in your lives and how integral our shul is to the lives of your children, to the lives of your family. Thank you so much to all of you for being here this evening. In this coming Shabbat, Shabbos portion, the Sedra, in Parsha's Trumra, we begin with the Almighty God's command to B'nai Israel that they shall donate materials for the construction of the Mishkan, for the construction of the tabernacle. The Torah tells us, And the Rashi commenting on the verse, he notes that God here instructs the people that they shall make a donation to Lee. Literally, that means for me or to me. Rashi further explains that this is to mean Lishmi, which is translated to mean not just to me, but for me and for my name. B'nai Israel, the Israelites, were commanded to not only give donations, but were commanded to give donations in the name of Almighty God. And the question the commentaries wonder is, what in the world does this mean? How does a person give charity? How is a person charitable? Lishmi, for God's name. So there's a story that's told about a certain Hasidic Rebbe who received a visit from a destitute man asking for charity. The Rebbe promptly pulled out a gold coin from his drawer and he handed it over to the pauper. The poor man was absolutely marveling and was completely amazed at the Rebbe's generosity. And he thought that perhaps he was making a mistake and he didn't really actually intend to give him the gold coin. But the Rebbe said it's not a mistake at all. And he thanked the Rebbe, the poor man thanked him. And he left before the Rebbe would have a chance to change his mind. A few moments later, the Rebbe told his assistant to run after the poor man 
and bring him back to his home. When the assistant caught up to this poor and destitute person, he thought to himself, I knew it was too good to be true. It could not be that the Rebbe was meaning to give me such a large donation. Broken hearted, the man returned to the Rebbe, who welcomed him and proceeded at that moment to pull out yet another coin, a gold coin, and he proceeded to give it to him. The man was in utter disbelief. He once again thanked the Rebbe profusely. He got up and he left. The assistant turns to the Rebbe and he says to him, Rebbe, I need an explanation. Why did the first coin that you gave to this proper, why that you gave it to him and then you called him back again for a second giving? So the Rebbe explains something that is so important and I think comes to highlight a very important message for all of us this evening. The Rebbe explained that when this fellow first came, I was immediately taken aback by his appearance. He looked so famished, he looked so helpless, that I took one look at him, and my heart, it went completely out to him. And so I had to give him a coin because I was overcome by pity, and I was overcome by compassion. But after he left, I decided that I needed to give him another donation purely for the sake of the mitzvah of tzedakah, l'shem shemayim. The first coin I gave him was out of pity, was out of compassion, and the second one was to fulfill the mitzvah. It was unadulterated, it was pure, it was clean, it was for the sake of the mitzvah. We all know certainly that when a person fulfills the mitzvah of charity regardless of one's motives, they fulfill the mitzvah in its fullest. Nevertheless, as this story teaches, there is a higher level of giving. There's a higher level of giving charity, which is what we call lishma, with a certain sense of sincerity for God's sake and the sake of simply obeying His command. And that the desire to help, in addition, one should always have in mind to give purely for the same, for the sake of shamayim, lishem shamayim, for the one and singular purpose of doing the mitzvah of serving God. Friends, tonight is extraordinarily special for me personally on a variety of ways as I would like to explain for just a few more moments. It was not too long ago as some of you who are sitting at the tables here gathered know so very well that it wasn't too long ago that I would call you sometimes very early or text you early in the morning. We need one or two or three or four more for our minion. It wasn't too long ago that we would call you or text you in the evening, can you help us please make a minion? Understanding very well that without the constant ongoing commitment by our millionaires, our synagogue, our shul would only be open for business once a week on Shabbos and on the holidays. Friends, we are so blessed this evening to be able as a community to celebrate the accomplishment, the achievement, but most importantly, the dedication of our millionaires who understand this lesson, that it's not just about occasionally showing up, but it's about a complete and utter commitment and dedication day in and day out so that our services, that our synagogue functions each and every day from the earliest morning hours to the late evening. It is thanks to the millionaires, the 17 of whom we are honoring tonight, and the many who I hope are going to join the club after, the millionaires, tonight we celebrate. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge two very special members of the millionaires. Pillars dedicated unbelievably. Imagine what it's like every single morning to see a Buchenwald Holocaust survivor over the numbers that were etched into his arm by the Nazis, Yamach Shimon, the tefillin, the phylacteries over those numbers. How blessed we are to have Chef Mayor Rappaport as one of our millionaires, our leaders. <laughs> Chef, we love you dearly.
Mayor, we want to clap for you all night, all night, because we all love you so much. And 94-year-old Irving Fallon. Irving, we want to clap for you all night as well. Because without missing a beat, not without any compromise to your commitment, early in the morning, mid in the afternoon, classes each day, Irving, you don't miss. And for the young ones in the community, for all of us who aspire and look up to, it is Mayor and it is Irving who have led the charge. We love you. You should be blessed with long life, with health, and continue nachas from our community. It has been said that the journey of a thousand miles, it begins with a single step. Tonight, in honoring as our guests of honor, Bill and Ray Dean Spear, it is truly what emanates from the depths of my heart, from a most personal place of tremendous happiness and unbelievable gratitude to be able to express how thankful we are to two incredibly remarkable people who are so beloved by so many. I share this evening with the very good wishes from my dear parents who wanted to be here tonight. My father should have a Rafua Shalema. I spoke to him just a few moments ago. He extended his Mazel Tov wishes to the two of you. And as he, and as my parents, and as my family, and Bill and Dean, and you, and your lovely and wonderful dear family, our extended family knows so well, that the journey of a thousand miles that begins with a single step is a journey that we took together close to eight years ago. And it is with those very first steps that not for even a single moment have you both lost your struggle. Because from that very first moment, when the seedlings were planted, when it was just but a dream, when it was just but a thought, when it was just perhaps to the hope of many, it was because of what you believed could happen. And together with so many others, and the leadership of those who are so dedicated, Bill and Ray Dean, it is because of you and your belief in this community and your belief in me and in Jennifer is the reason why all of that which has sprouted so wonderfully and so beautifully, it is because of you. And I want everybody in this room to know that everything that we have, it began with those very first seedlings. There is absolutely no shadow of a doubt. We would not have even considered moving to this community if it was not for the very memorable moments whereby my parents were talking to Ray Dean and Bill. We were standing, I remember, at the baggage check-in area at JetBlue, coming down to Fort Lauderdale, not really sure if it was a Pesach program or if it was a job interview, wasn't sure. But Ray Dean and my father with Bill, together, they choreographed this whole thing, which now became the life love of our community. And that is the reason why we are all here. And it's true. What's really remarkable, not only to celebrate the incredible accomplishments of unbelievable people in this community, but I encourage everybody to read your journals. Because it is not just to be involved and contribute in one community, but to contribute and to be present and to be mindful and to be impactful. And as Rabbi Berman writes in his journal entry, to be transformative to actually be part of the history making of not one, but not two, but not three, but so many institutions. Bill and Ray Dean, we love you so much. And we thank you for your incredible commitment to the Jewish people. And in particular, we thank you so much for all that you have done for the Boca Jewish Center community. On behalf of all of us, we wish you mazel and bracha. You should have only the nachas from your unbelievably loving and extraordinarily special family. And know well that as every new member, as every new program begins to percolate and continues its success, know that it is stamped with the love and with the energy and with the enthusiasm and the passion 
and the tremendous commitment of you two both to incredibly, remarkably special people. We are inspired by you, and we love you, and we thank you so very much. And back, ladies and gentlemen, our master of ceremonies.